I'm Elizabeth McDonald, web reporter for GC42, and I'm here right now with Bill Stedman, chair of the Theology Interchurch Interfaith Committee. Bill, it was clear from the report that you presented to commissioners this afternoon that your committee has been hard at work on many theological fronts. But I'd like to talk with you right now about one particular issue that you're hoping to engage United Church people and congregations in the weeks and months ahead, and it's the report on theologies of disabilities. Now, a lot of people, when they think of disability, think of it as a property issue, how do we make the building more accessible, may think of it as a social issue, how do we deal with attitudes and assumptions, mm -hmm. but you came here today saying it's a theological issue. Can you say a little more about that? Well, as I pointed out to the General Council, um, Jesus in his teachings spent a lot of time talking about property and money, which we try not to uh, pay attention to. And as one in stewardship years ago, I knew that was important. But he even spent more time on talking about uh, welcoming, of acceptance, of opening our hearts and minds and, and all that we are to uh, receiving people. I mean, even one of the stories, they receive someone uh, uh, by opening up the roof. So we need to, as a church, be open and receiving of people and not see others as people of disabilities or our problems, but as people of the community and how do we adjust to make sure that they're welcome. And one of the first things you said the working group did was to invite input from people living with disabilities and people who are close to them. What kind of response did you get? Well, our committee realized we didn't have the expertise on it. We have a couple of people who've done a lot of work and research and uh, theological reflection on this, but we needed some input. So we invited the church to respond. 17 people indicated they would like to help us with the project. We asked four of them to help do some background work. Uh, we asked the church generally to give us some sort of response and their experience as a person dealing with disabilities, how the church has been accepting and maybe not accepting. We received almost 200 pages of documentation from a variety of people. And uh, what they really basically said to us was there have been many, many issues that people have faced in our church. What was positive was we still care about this church and we want to help this church find a new way to be accepting and caring about people with uh, all kinds of disabilities, not just physical disabilities. It may be mental, it may be emotional, it may be personal, uh, but we need to see people as people, not label them as we sometimes have done. Now, reading the report, it's clear that some of what you heard was very painful, and you told the commissioners, we've got a long way to go in this area. Yes, I think that's what really was upsetting to us as a committee and as a group, was that some of these stories, uh, well, when I read the stories, I thought if I'd gone through what they'd gone through, I'm not sure I'd be a member of the United Church. I'm not sure I'd really care about the United Church because it was in such a painful experience. But they said, we care about the church, we want to be part of the church, and we want the church to adapt to help me come and be part of a church with my son or daughter or spouse or parent or, or uh, best friend. They wanted to make sure that we adjusted ourselves in a way that allowed people to feel welcome and not be labeled. And I think that's the biggest thing. We need to recognize it's even happened at this court where people are invited to stand if they're able. Well, I, f I don't like that kind of language. Why, why don't we say, let's stand in spirit and in body as you wish, or something like that to say, L let's give people a choice to respond in a way that uh, has integrity for them. Now, the report challenges us to re-examine, even reimagine our understandings of community, of accessibility, of vulnerability, and then it goes farther and says, let's re-examine and reimagine our understandings of God. Well, Jürgen Moltmann is one who uh, has started talking about this area indirectly back in the 70s. He wrote a book called The Crucified God that I read as a theological student. And it really was lifting up an image of God that was not the all-powerful, the almighty. It was saying, look, the God that we worship uh, is a crucified God, is, is a God uh, that's far from perfect. The moderator shared uh, an image of uh, uh, what seems like a homeless man, but it's about uh, really a symbol of Jesus. It's out in front of uh, Regis College in Toronto. And this is a, a replication of that particular uh, uh, illustration. And uh, he was saying that if you look closely, you can see the wounds on his feet. So this is really closer, I think, to reality that people have a variety of disabilities and challenges, whoever we are, and we want to see the wholeness of the person and not uh, look upon them as what particular aspect may be a, a challenge for them. 
Now, while we're in the church are working on theologies of disabilities, your committee will continue its work on many fronts, including theological implications on adoption and work in the area of physician-assisted dying. Can you give us a sense of what we can expect in the days to come? Well, because of the Supreme Court action that happened in the fall, uh, 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 hearing uh, uh, issues in the Supreme Court around what is now called uh, physician-assisted dying, uh, and saying that people have a right to that kind of assistance under certain controlled circumstances, there's going to be pastoral, uh, emotional, personal, spiritual issues that people will face as, as they have their own health challenges. And we need to help the church in terms of giving them the, the tools and the skills to guide and advise people. So we're just beginning that process of support material for the church at large. Bill Stedman, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good to speak with you. To read the full Theologies of Disabilities report and other aspects of the work of the Theology Interchurch Interfaith Committee, go to gc42.ca.